All right. In this video, we're going to learn how to image trace an image. So what you have is this image is loaded up on Canvas, and we're going to image trace it so that we can edit it and turn it into an outline version of the logo. So what you're going to do is open this image, and we'll get started. When you're ready to start, select your image, and then you'll notice up in the very top, there's an image trace button with a drop down. What we want to do is to make sure that we select image trace drop down and use three colors on this one. So there's a little bit of different default stuff for the image trace. High fidelity photos are going to try to get as many colors in as possible. Low fidelity are going to use less colors. Three colors as it suggests. We use three different colors in this logo. Six we use six. Sixteen we use sixteen. Shades of gray will turn this into a saturated black and white image. Black and white logos will turn this into a black and white logo. This is sometimes the easiest way to image trace. Sketched art will try to turn this into um, line work uh, with a little bit of darkness in it. Silhouettes are going to show you uh, pretty much a pitch black logo. Line art is going to try to make it as much line as possible and technical drawings are more for your uh, CAD based images. But for now we're going to use three logo. You can play around with this uh, at your own leisure if you want to, to kind of get what you look. I would do a three logo or a black and white, but right now we're going to do a three color uh, image straight. So I click on that and you'll notice it's going to chew through it and then we have our colors. Okay, so our, our logo is traced, so you can see it changed colors on us. And here's what really happened. First, we have white as a primary of the three colors. Then we have black, and then we have this gold color. Okay, so we've changed this logo to three colors. Next, you want to click Expand. That's going to expand this from a lossy image into something we can edit. And you'll notice that it has all of these pieces now that are grouped together as an editable image. You notice I have this big blue square. That means that there's a background to it. So what I want to do is go to Object and Ungroup. And that's going to ungroup all these things so I can ed edit them individually. Okay. So the uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my background here, and I'm just going to delete it out. So now I just have my logo, and that's it. The next thing I want to do is to use this tool on the left, the Magic Wand tool. And we want to use it to select all the like things. So you'll notice that the first time I click it, it's going to click everything that has a fill color. And if I delete that, everything goes away. I don't want that. I control Z and command Z, it comes back. So you can double click your magic wand tool. Okay. And this has anything with a stroke color selected. I don't want that. We want to make sure that our fill color matches. And the lower your tolerance, the more closely the colors will match. So, with my magic wand tool, now I select this brownish gold color, and you'll see that it just selects those things with that light color. Okay? I'm going to hit delete. The next thing I want to do with the magic wand tool is select the white part that we just had. So it's going to select all of those white things left that don't have any, that have true white fill. I'm going to click delete. And now I'm left with just this piece with black outlines. So, in order for us to edit this, we're going to have to get rid of some of these lines to make it a true outline logo. So I'm going to use the eraser tool. And I'm just going to click right down here. I'm going to erase these lines on the inside of the A. And just like that, it's all erased. So now we have this crisp, clean, fully outlined black logo. So you'll notice another thing right here is that it has these little bumps. And you can get rid of these pretty simply by going to the pen tool and highlighting it and click delete anchor point. So what we want to do is to make sure that we have this outline selected and then we're going to click delete anchor point. And the, all we're going to do is just click on all of these anchor points here to just start deleting them up. <clears throat> now, that's what made our outline a little bit thicker, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is use the direct selection tool. I'm going to make sure we edit this anchor point. 
and I'm going to hold down my Alt key so we just edit this handle. Just like that, I've got it back crisp. Okay, so you can do that to the rest of it if you'd like. Uh, you don't have to, but if you were creating a logo or editing a logo for a company, you might want to do that. But for now, we have a crisp, clean outline. Okay, so in order to make this uh, an editable image to do anything else you want to with it, we need the shape build to add some shapes back in. The shape builder tool, and I'm going to take my fill color and I'm going to turn it to just the goldish color so I can see the shapes that I'm adding back in. Just so you know where I'm adding shapes. So anything that goes from white to this light color is going to have a shape added in. Okay. And just like that, we've got all these shapes. Now, if we look at it, uh, we don't want to have all this stuff, so I'm going to select it with the magic wand tool, and I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn all of these colors all the way to white. Okay, and now I can edit this thing, uh, just like this. Okay, so from here you can just hold down Shift, select all the shapes that you want to select that are going to be the same color. That's the beak, the feet. All right. And then we're going to give it this goldish color down here so it looks more like our original. And then the inside here, we're going to give it that red color that we had to begin with or a version of that red color right here. And now we have a flat color logo that we can use uh, for any project that we have. It will be simplified and easier to print. Or you can change the colors to the colors that you really need. Um, or if you just need a crisp outline, you can just not have any of the colors. But that's how you can edit a logo using Image Trace and all of the tools uh, associated with it to make a logo what you want, to, to edit it and add to different things. So if you have a PNG or a JPEG logo, you can edit it out into a vector graphic that you can easily copy and paste anywhere into different documents, images, and be able to use it for printing and different editing purposes. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to refer back to the canvas for your assignment, and we'll see you next time.